I am uh, Mass Haberman and I am uh, an exhibition designer with the Warning Design and Communication Company. And we've had the, the pleasure to work with, uh, with this place, uh, the Blue Planet, the Blue Planet, for uh, about four, four plus years. We've had the, this assignment to, to make sure that the interpretation is, is coming across in a way that uh, the, most, the maximum number of people actually get to know what, what this place wants to convey, the stories that they want to convey. And uh, at the same time, uh, making sure that the form and uh, the format it has uh, gives a feeling of, uh, that is natural to the place. That means everything has a form language that is connected to water. Uh, it has the color of water, it has the feel, it has uh, the motion, it has the shimmering, and it has the sounds. Of water. Once you enter the place, uh, you, you enter um, a foyer, a, a, a hall area where you, you're greeted by, by a, a beautiful uh, BBC film, but also with the shimmering light effects that gives you the feeling of being underwater. And uh, quite a number of people have actually said that to us, or just we've heard, overheard them saying, Ah, oh, Mom, it's just like being underwater. And uh, whenever a kid of five years old says that, uh, you know that you've, uh, that you've succeeded. How have you approached the use of, of technology here? What, what's the, have you been trying to um, separate the fish from the technology or really try to combine them? We've been trying to combine them uh, as much as we could. Obviously, there's, uh, uh, well, there are some of the interactive exhibits where you, you can actually uh, uh, interact with the fish. For instance, there's, a, there's an aquarium uh, that's, that is uh, simulating uh, a river habitat for fish. And in that uh, aquarium, you can change the current so that the, you can actually see how the fish are reacting to, to different uh, current patterns. And uh, a num quite a number of ways that we've intriguingly trying to, been trying to figure out how can we, given the behavior of the fish are what they are, how can we adapt our uh, interactive in a way that uh, that it doesn't feel too contrived mm. but gives uh, m make sure that the point com comes across how satisfied are you that the ideas that you had the, the thoughts the dreams that you had for this project at the beginning have have been realized how much have you had to compromise and how much have you delivered <laughs> of what you yeah. you know yeah. you dreamt up well obviously there's always been compromises but uh, but but I don't think, when I, when I look at it in overall terms, I think that we pretty much accomplished everything that we wanted. Uh, and that it's not only us that wanted to do things, it's of course uh, the aquarium, the Danish aquarium being, being, being the client. Mm. And uh, they had their stories and their feelings, their things that they wanted to convey. And uh, so it's been, it's been a, a very good partnership with them as well. So there is no one, not one originator of the ideas. It's, it's something that has grown within a communal uh, thing that, that, that this has really been. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay.